Well, good afternoon, Huskers. Uh, how's everyone doing? Hope you guys had a good three-day weekend, four-day weekend, whatever you had with Labor Day. Enjoyed the extra time off work. Uh, enjoyed uh, a victory for the Huskers over UTEP. Um, and now we move on to Colorado. So this is the uh, Tuesday release. Tuesday release of the Red White Corn Sports Um show if you will and i think what we're going to try going forward is we're going to do a tuesday release a thursday um release which would usually be game preview type thing so this week that'll be colorado preview and then i think uh you know saturday or whenever the game is played usually saturdays right i think we have a friday game this year right after the game we'll do a post game reaction okay so probably a three uh three release three video release per week I think is the schedule we're gonna try going forward please make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when that happens and like the videos helps the YouTube algorithm get more people to see this you know and I appreciate that so for today what we're gonna talk about and, and real quick guys again these videos what my goal is to always keep them below 10 minutes so um, I know there's a lot of great podcasts and stuff out there I'm not trying to compete with with um with those i know some people just need to get some information they don't have a lot of time maybe something to sit while you're or watch while you're sitting on the the toilet or something like that uh you're stuck in traffic just a quick minute 10 minute or less video is what we aim for um and ours so and then we got the articles we got them coming out all the time redwhitecornsports.com um got articles coming out um, on the regular, and those also get posted on the characterchronicles.com as well, as, as the show does too. So find us there. All right, <clears throat> enough of that. What well, let's talk about today two two important things, two important things, two headlines. Let's cover real quick. Number one, the running back situation. I was concerned about the running back by committee thing we were gonna do going into the UTEP game. Um, you know, I can understand having two running backs maybe. Um, having four uh, guaranteed starters, which is what we had going to that game, um, is a little different. It worked for the most part. Now that turnover by Dodell is extremely disheartening. Um, when you preach all off season about turning over the ball and you do it right on the on the cusp of us scoring another touchdown, that's a big deal. Uh, when you play a, an opponent. Uh, that's getting their feet under them still new coaching staff and all that um and in the conference you would say with utep right it's easier to recover from those things but if you're gonna do that let's say you did the same thing you fumble at the 10 yard line about to score against colorado this week and a game that could be decided by seven points or less we're doing a big 10 play going on you think that makes a difference between winning and losing the game Absolutely. So Rule was asked about that on um, his, you know, his press conference, I think, yesterday. And he said, hey, I like the running back by committee thing we got going on. Kind of have a different way we see to use each of them. So he's kind of got a, a strategy for how when he likes to see each of them on the field. Um, and he said he expects all four, including Dell Dell, to play again. Right? Obviously, he said, you know, hey, he's got to hold on to the football. Can't turn it over. But he expects them to play again. And to be fair... Before that fumble, he looked clearly like he could be RB1, three down back, right? He looked very strong. But you got to hold on to the football. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how talented, explosive, physical, or whatever, turnovers will cost you games. Turnovers have cost us games, cost us bowl games. Turnovers cost us any chance of a bowl game last year. So playing him, playing him again is risky. Right, I mean, we have we have Ramir, Emmett, and Gabe, Dowdell. I mean, if he's if he's gonna be that player, he's got the talent, but he's got to work on the ball security stuff. I mean, it, do you have him sit a few games? Do you have him work in only uh, when we are ahead in large margins? Uh, do you have him redshirt this year? I don't know. These are things that only, you know, Matt Rule has the best inside unseen practices, knowing the guy's temperament and stuff like that. There's things you got to consider. So they're all four going to play again. We'll see. Hoping for no fumbles. Um, I think Emmett Johnson and Gabe Irvin would be a good one-two punch. Um, 
but we're going to see what they decide to do Saturday with that rotation, which it will be that rotation again. The next thing we're going to touch on real quick, Malachi Coleman, even with the amount of players they were able to get into the game on Saturday, he didn't make an appearance. He didn't make an appearance. And uh, Rule said in his, in his press conference, hey, look, he's still kind of battling the groin injury. Could have put him in if we wanted to, but why, right? Um looking at probably redshirting him this year. He hasn't been redshirted yet, so um, I think that makes sense for Coleman. I mean, I think he's a guy who will stick around. I don't. I, I think he's a his character and the stuff he does off the field is remarkable. I don't. I don't think we redshirt him this year and he leaves. I think there's a wide receiver room right now that's got a lot of depth and Banks and Naor, both seniors. They're gonna be gone next year. I think next, you know, you continue to develop Lloyd Coleman. Jakari, uh, Jakari Barney Jr., and next year those are become your guys, right? Um, but it's going to be hard for him to work in with Banks and Naor in there after what we saw Saturday. Those are both very talented receivers. Uh, I think the redshirt is an absolutely the right move for him going forward this year. I, I mean, I, he's, I think, going to be a very talented receiver uh, one day, but I think the redshirt this year makes the most sense for him in his situation. So um, that's what Rule said they're going to do. We didn't see a lot of Jalen Lloyd either. Um, but uh, Sean Callahan said it best in the Husker Online show. They kept that sports car in the garage under wraps. Um, and I'd like to think they kept a lot of things under wraps uh, for what they're going to do with Colorado. So I expect to see some different things. I would expect to see Jalen Lloyd. Um in Colorado because his speed is out there is going to make a difference. Same with Chikari Borney. Junior, he's going to make his speed out there is going to make a difference. Um, so we'll talk more Colorado Thursday. Until then, uh, please, again, if you haven't already, like and subscribe to the channel. Go Big Red.